So maybe I'll just pause that and just see. And to the next step, going to draw. So let's just get the video unpaused. Okay, so now we're going to draw now again. I'm skipping this step on object snaps. Because mine are already on. But I'll show you anyway. Uh, you can see under the tools menu, you can go to drafting settings and then the object snap tab. So here under tools, you've got drafting settings. And then, oh, you're not in AutoCAD Classic. So just cancel what you're doing, press this back. Yep, and then just make sure you've got AutoCAD Classic, so up here. Ah, uh, next to that. Okay, so I've got a few more turned on than it tells you to in the notes. If you just need to have midpoint, endpoint, node and quadrant, but I've got these others on which will help later. And if you're looking for a good general setting um, for object snap, this is um, a pretty good one. Everything on the left except extension, and then the top two on the right. Lead extension on. Dark and setting up there. Yeah, we'll keep going with this side here. And, uh, yeah, no, it's just good something. Okay, so notice if I click OK, it still knows that I'm drawing a line. Yeah, okay, so again, just make sure you're following the direction for the first point. You can always choose draw a line again from the menu. So I'm just going to zoom into that area and hover over the top of the box until I get the triangle, which tells me that I'm drawing from the midpoint there. I'm going to start on that point, and then coming up, I can type in the distance, 2400, enter, and then to go to the corner of that box, I'll go onto that end of the line and then when I see the square which tells me it's the uh, end point I can click on that point to draw the line at the angle I want. So you can see it's much easier when you zoom in to these shapes that you're drawing. You can zoom and pan any time while you're drawing. Okay, so if you've been doing these exercises already without too much trouble, it's good to start thinking about the shortcuts and you'll see in the, um, the notes here go onto the uh, top of the page there, it tells you that you can repeat the line command by pressing enter. Or more right now's button. Okay, so pressing enter once completes the command. Now press enter again. Okay, so, um, yeah, first of all, we'll the command. So let's join it. Uh, it really is going to be the same when you're doing most of your drawings. Uh, you use the line command for most of your work, and then and, uh, uh, draw from as long as you draw lines at the end that you want, uh, uh, using the length that you want, you can do the drawing of the drawing. So then, uh, uh, the end point, and then clicking onto the corner of that box will give me another line at the same angle. Enter again, and now. I want to draw yet another line that goes to the right. So I'll just move on and do these and then uh, show you the next step because the video will get too long otherwise. So again, just drawing a line from the corner on the bottom right of that box, coming over 1850 is the distance, moving up and then 700 back to the left and then clicking onto the triangle to draw on the side there. So uh, the first couple of times you go through this, it's worth just taking it slowly and make sure if it's not working for you that you do every single step uh, that it says to in the notes. 
and uh, you know don't skip steps and don't click when uh, it doesn't tell you to.